Hello, welcome to another episode of Harrison How To. Today we're going to take a look at the chainsaw. It's uh, pretty much designed to chop down trees, knock down any wood structures that we're going to have to encounter. But I'll show you how effective it is because it is very effective. Let's take this tree right here. We'll chop down with a stone axe. Oop. This is just going to show you how long it takes to chop things down with the stone axe so that we can compare it to how fast things are chopped down with the chainsaw. Chainsaw doesn't else have to just be used to chop down trees either. It's a great zombie killer. Kills bloated zombies in like a second. So you see how fast we chop down that tree with our stone axe. Let's pull out our chainsaw and let's start chopping down trees. Quite a bit faster. Any trees that we get through there? quite a few trees and as you can see we have ammo down in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to be used up anytime we click the mouse button regardless if we're chopping anything or not so be careful when you're using it don't just swing your uh, chainsaw wherever also you can see that I've got a 7 right there next to my ammo and that's representing my gas cans the gas cans are the number of uh, reloads that I have for my chainsaw it doesn't have durability as reloads alright we're right at 100. We're going to go ahead and hit reload. Look at that. 197. We have six gas cans left. Made quick work of those trees. And about 100 fuel looks like I was able to chop down about 84 logs worth of trees. Which if I had used bigger trees probably could have gotten more. But about, about 8 or 9 trees per 100 fuel. Which is one gas can. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what I could have done better. Let me know what other info you would have liked to see. Thank you very much.